Hello everyone and welcome back after a very long time away. Uh, this is kind of a special video unboxing and announcement deal thing. Uh, it's been a very long time. For some reason my voice is better now than it was earlier. You're going to hear from past me here in a little bit. Uh, but we're going to start today with an unboxing. And then after the unboxing is done, we're going to take a step looking forward and uh, go through kind of future plans for the channel, both here and over on Twitch. So for those of you who had followed for a long time, thank you for all the support. Glad to be back. For those of you new here, looking forward to future adventures. Uh, with that, I guess we'll send it over to past me. All right, and we are ready for the unboxing. This is being recorded before, so you just heard from future me, and now I'm past me. I don't think I've done that before, and it's a little spooky. Anyway, with that said, I got Snickers from the, the peanut gallery over here. Hello. Um, today we're doing an unboxing. This is something that I've been waiting months to get. We've been watching episodes of this anime almost every day, trying to get through it. Um, that way we could hopefully have it done by the time this came out. We did not reach that goal. There's just too much to watch. Uh, I don't think I've ever done an unboxing of a collector's edition like this, so I'm super excited. Um, you can see I do have the collector's bundle uh, thing from Breath of the Wild and from Tears of the Kingdom. I didn't record those, unfortunately. You know, We'll talk more about plans for the channel coming up, but streaming just wasn't in the cards at the time. Uh, recording. Also, not really in the cards at the time. Have a hoarse voice. Probably talked about that already, but I really want to dig into this because today is the first day of this being released. The company managed to get it shipped here on time, even though it's just a regular order. I have no affiliation with them. Uh, a little behind the console folks because the game did come out yesterday for them, but regardless, here is the brown box o mystery. Um, you know, we did the candy unboxings in the past. Really had a great time with those. Have to thank old Ben again. We have our trusty box cutter here. Always cut away from your free hand. You don't need anyone ending up in the emergency room or having injury to themselves. That would be bad for all parties involved. Once you get your box open, close the thing. Don't get hurt. Or, you know, like, as it Philip DeFranco likes to say, don't be stupid, stupid opened up oh i should say that the company that this is shipped from is consumer orders that's it it's not actually uh stated by the company but this is naruto cross boruto ultimate ninja storm connections i've been a huge naruto fan anyone that's been around the channel long enough knows that i love the series i've played all of the storm games since um I think it was three full burst, you know, was when I really got into the series. I had played Naruto games across like PlayStation 2, GameCube, Wii, um, and all of those, but the Storm 3 full burst was when I really got into it with my Xbox 360. I've been watching the show since it debuted in America. Um, just a really big fan. So we're going to go through all this stuff, see what they sent. This is the uh, like premium collector's edition with like the pre order bonuses and all of that. You know, usually I'm not huge on pre-ordering games, but I knew I was going to get it anyway. So there was really no point to not just go all out and get everything that, that I could with it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a wall scroll of sorts. Also, in terms of my attire, I just got home not that long ago from the gym. I didn't even want to wait. I, I just, I couldn't. It was sitting, the, the shipping people were in my driveway when I got home and I was freaking out like a kid on Christmas. So it's nice and tied up. It's got a nice little bow on it. I'm going to try and slip. I don't know if I'm going to be able to slip this off and get it back on. I think I'm just going to have to untie it, which I hate to do because it is really pretty, but I don't know. I forget what this is. I believe it's a... Well, this is like Shinobi. Oh, wow. So it's a canvas poster with all the different characters on it. I can get that in frame really good. I mean, that is gorgeous. I know everyone's going to be contentious about the, the bottom middle there with the 
Boruto kids, but, you know, they have a little mercy, okay? Two Blue Vortex is better than the start of the Boruto anime. You know, I'm, I'm not so opposed to it. Um, we're out of, you know, filler, filler nightmare land. So that's all good, but that is a really cool scroll. I'm really, really happy with that. I think this should also have some download codes and figs, as I recall. Is this my... I got the PC version. A lot of you know I'm primarily a PC gamer. Um, I don't have a PS5 or Xbox One. So yeah, so this is my Steam download code. That's all that that is. In a really weird black bag. Because it's like contraband. I don't know. Like That way no one can see what it is. Um, but that's the Steam version. I assume that if you got the PlayStation or Xbox version, you would get the respective code there. And this should be the last thing. Should be figs in here as well. So we get our box cutter out again. Remember, cut away from the, the free hand. Keep it shallow so you don't damage the contents. Always cutting away from your body. Closing it when you're done. We're, we're really, you know, trying to do things right here. Peel open the box. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so I think the, it is another box. I think the scroll was for the premium collector's edition. And then we have the regular collector's edition inside of this box. New release product. Display before store opens on 11, 17. For yeah, that, that doesn't really work in this case because, uh, you know, I'm not a store, so whatever. Oh, it's not too fragile. I can't get it out without like shaking it down. Also made in Mexico, it looks like. Don't know if anyone cares, but just in case you were wondering. We're going to cut this open. They taped it all up. I I always have hesitation when they tape like collector's edition boxes and stuff. Um, I don't like to damage them when I open them. And there's no real good way to avoid it without very carefully using a box cutter. Um, I've you know, torn the tape off of some game cases before and stuff and kind of left little marks. And it always makes me sad when that happens. So pretty much we just got the Connections Collector's Edition here. Over 130 ninjas available. The history of Naruto and Sasuke's rivalry recut and combined into one game. Um, which that's the, that's the real draw here, right? Is it's got every playable character throughout the history of the games. And... You oh man, this is really packed full, and you also get the uh, basically all the storm games stories from what I know. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that, but what is this? Oh wait, this is the download code. Does this require? No, but this is the download code. Did I get two? Oh, this is the pre-order bonus. This is the this is the pre-order bonus, I guess. It doesn't say that, it just says digital contents, but um, not really worried about you guys seeing the code. I'm going to redeem them all before this goes live anyway, because my goal is to do this unboxing, finish up with Future Me, whatever he's doing right now, and then uh, maybe get some gameplay. And I'm trying to get this out, you know, same day as the release, just because it's the first time I've done something like this. Get this little poster kind of cool not as cool as the wall scroll by any means um but it looks like it's stills from the game rather than from the show or from anything like that so kind of neat there uh steel oh it's the steel art book i didn't know exactly what this was gonna be so we've got future naruto and sasuke on the front game on the back this is actually a game case is what it is um you know, that's cool. I wish there would be a game manual in here. I understand that it's the Steam version. I don't know if the console version's got them. Game manuals are something I actually really miss from back in the day, from like, you know, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, GameCube. I, I do miss game manuals. You don't get them in Switch games anymore, really. Um, occasionally, right? I mean, one of the games we've gotten had them, but for the most part, you just don't get things like that anymore, and it's kind of a bummer. 
then we got our exclusive figurines. Usually plastic bags on my enemies, not boxes. I am. I am having a lot of trouble. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. You're welcome. Happy to help. All right. The 20th anime anniversary edition of the figs. I am going to open these. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Again, I'm going to use the box cutter just because I don't want to ruin the box. Come on. You think after, oh, no, there's more tape. There's more tape. There's more tape. I figured it out myself, peanut gallery. I know. Girlfriend, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, get this opened up here. I would also accept pizza rolls. Oh, is that what you would also accept? Correct. I don't know if you guys could hear her. She said she would also accept future wife. There is a, a smelly smell, smell kind of smell coming off of these. I think it's from the packaging. Oh, cool. They come with stand bases, too. Uh, so we will... I'll assemble this here in a minute, and then we'll cut to once it's assembled. I don't need to put everyone through the torture of me trying to assemble these on camera. Well, you could, but I'm going to have both of them open, and it's going to take time anyway. All right, so we have these two figs. We will be back in a couple of minutes. All right, and after a painstaking process that took way longer than it should have, um, primarily because I was a moron and put them together top to bottom instead of bottom to top uh, with Naruto figure, Sasuke's was much better because I did it in the right order. Uh, we have our figs. So, this is the Naruto figurine, which actually has a pretty cool jumping, like, look yeah. to it. I think his foot's a little weird, because it comes off the back of the pedestal. I almost wish his angle would be a little more forward, so that way it was up, because, I mean, it's almost clipping the desk. So, if it rocks at all, I could see maybe an issue there. Um, but overall, nice. I mean, it's a solid build, and... I don't feel like it's going to break just by existing. Uh, let's just set him off to the side. And grab Sasuke. So his is a little more funky. That He's like leaned back. I don't know what this jump is, but maybe he's defending from something. I, I really don't know. Um, but I like the look of the Chidori. That's really cool. Um, it's got his shutting gun, and I don't know if they did a shutting gun or. Yeah, it kind of looks like they did the. The um, six tome. Rinnegan instead, um, then his sword in the back. So overall, I definitely am happy with the the purchase in the premium collector's edition. I would buy it again, um, but. That's also because I'm, such a big fan of the show. I mean, I I like I said earlier, have been a fan for as long as I can remember. Um, watched it when it first came out. So with that said, I am going to take my digital codes, go get them put in. Uh, by the time Future Me started all this nonsense, um, I'll already have everything downloaded and ready to go. What I'm probably going to end up doing is channel updates after this uh, and then a separate video with initial gameplay and impressions just because I don't want each of the videos to drag on for too long. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Whoa, I am really not used to this time travel thing yet. It bothers me to no end. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this in the future. Anyway, uh, thank you past me sending it back here. This the whole thing is ridiculous. Uh, that unboxing was a great time. You know, it, again, like I said earlier, grew up with the series. It means so much to me I'm watching through it all again now with some of you know her as anonymous some of you know her as Ari daniel um right now she wants to go by nani in the in the channel so that's what we'll be calling her um but my girlfriend we're watching through the whole series you know it means a lot to me as i grew up with it but 
that's enough with that. Uh, look forward to a separate gameplay video coming out probably a little bit later than this, but around the same time on the same day. Um, but looking forward now. So as you see, I've got multiple guitars over in the corner. Um, we got some basses back here as well as another guitar, one of my, my uncle's hand-me-down guitars and my first guitar. Uh, looking ahead, there's a lot that I kind of want to do with the channel here and over on Twitch. I still want to do speed runs. Uh, a lot of the things that you know I used to do, Sly, One, Super Mario Sunshine, I still want to do speed runs of those. I'm going to have to practice to get back to where I was in those games, and hopefully you guys will be along for the ride with me on that. You know, it's skills I that honestly are going to be rusted. I'm going to have to break that rust off and relearn a lot of the tricks, or at least polish them back up to where they were. Uh, in addition to that, I want to start doing more YouTube videos. Kind of like I used to do, whether it be gameplay series that I, I didn't stream before. So just dedicated YouTube stuff. Um, either more Let's Play formats or game nights with friends. So Nani, uh, Crow Will, he's been on the channel a couple of times. Old Ben, who I used to do the, the race videos with. You know, if, if we're playing games together, I want to record those and capture some of the highlights from those moments. And we have a lot of really fun, humorous times at, at worst um, and enjoyable times at others. And I, I think it'd be fun to get those natural moments and share those. Uh, definitely some Rocket League streams. And like I was alluding to with the instruments, I've been playing a lot of Rocksmith. And while I'm by no means a guitar aficionado or expert, you know, building up some of those skills and doing it live on Twitch or YouTube, now that multi-platform streaming is allowed, even if you're an affiliate or a partner, that's a huge thing. I used to do multi-streaming, and then when I got partner status, I had to stop. But I can go back to that. Um, so in that way, I think there's a lot of good opportunities coming for content in the future, whether it be solely here on YouTube, solely over on Twitch, multi-streams. Um, I think it's all going to be a lot of fun. My schedule's pretty hectic. I'm not going to lie. My, my professional schedule keeps me very busy. But... I'm going to try to make some time, even if it's, you know, an hour a week or an hour every other week. I want to try and do at least two streams a month, and I want to try and get content out maybe weekly. You know, it's not something that I can guarantee all the time. There's going to be months that are harder than others for me. But I think weekly uploads and probably every other week streams should be achievable. And I'd like to do more than that. So that's kind of my, my baseline right now. It's not starting tomorrow or anything like that. But once things get rolling, that's going to be my overall goal. Um, if I can't keep up with that, I do apologize in advance. But I'm going to try. And that's the, that's the best I can do. But I am looking forward to getting back on this journey with everyone. And it's brought me a lot of joy just doing the unboxing and being back for this. But with that said, I'm going to take off. I'm going to get some initial gameplay for tonight, and we're going to get another video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Grey Wolf, and I'm out.